Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. Let's take a look at the charts, a weekly bar chart. Nice rally on Monday. I'll get to that in a moment. In fact, we did settle in a near-term buy signal. Near-term for me is two to three weeks. Uh, you know, short-term is anywhere from day trading to swing trading. Near-term, several weeks out so forth and so on. So uh, I do have a two to three week buy signal. I, I should just show that right now. And that was the settlement yesterday above these convergent formations, horizontal channel top at uh, 186.56 uh, and this longer term descending channel top at 184.51. Now we pushed through this area uh, later last week, uh, did not close above it. We closed above it on Monday by a hair I'm not balking at the buy signal. I just personally would like to see another daily settlement, a higher settlement on the day above 186.56, of course, to sort of lock in, if you will, the technical buy signal that I see uh, is in this earliest stages, anticipating a two to three week rally to 213.77. That is on the uh, daily chart, what we find on the weekly chart mentioned earlier at 214.05. So bullish above 184.51, 186.56. If you went long on Monday's close, uh, the settlement above 186.56, I have no problem with that. I think that is a legitimate move. It's an aggressive move. Uh, some would wait another day uh, because it was so close. That's the only reason I'm I'm saying that. If we we had closed, you know, for instance, above last Thursday's high, uh, that would have been a much clearer sign of follow through buying that I would expect to 13.77. But the way it stands. You're long now, or you can get long uh, on Tuesday uh, following an opening, say, above 186.56. Uh, 200.11, in reach perhaps today. Now, there is an extreme channel top at 198.30. We've reduced that to just a minor point. Uh, I think 198.38, 198.30 is likely today. But we have a longer-term 3.8 Fibonacci at 200.11 that may well be in reach today, given the still uh, heightened volatility. We got into a low volatility framework there for a number of weeks before that spiked uh, last week. And so we are in a high volatility framework right now and holding above this uh, 184.51, 186.56 area will keep 200.11 in reach perhaps today where a daily high can be made. Uh, and if we were to close today, which I think is doubtful, but if later in the week we settle above 200.11, that targeted 213.77, two to three week objective, then likely within three to five days or less. And at 213.77, or 214.05 on the weekly chart, take your pick, we can top out on a monthly, possibly quarterly basis. We can fall away from here, back into the very low 100 region in the three to five months or sooner following a test of 214.05. I've been saying now for a matter of weeks, a number of weeks, how holding below 214.05 does maintain a one-year bear market, if you will. Lower low, lower high dynamic, uh, as uh, represented by the 214.05 descending channel top. So this is, if you did go long, if you will go long, if you are going long above this 184.51 to 186.56 region on a two to three week basis, uh, then uh, this is your opportunity at 213.77 to exit that long position and consider playing the short side from there. Now on the way up, I'll also mention once again, the 200.11 is an area that's your, kind of your three to five day target. So three to five day swing traders, if you went long following the settlement Monday above the 186.56 level, uh, then 200.11 is your objective. And that is your profit taking level. If we close then today above 200.11, it's a get long again, if you're not still already for 213.77 as a three to five day target. But the two to three week swing trade is shifting, has shifted positive above 186.56 to 14.05, likely over the next two to three weeks, where we could top out through the entire third quarter and fall away to channel support that will have dropped into the very low 100 area as we move into July, August trade. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. 
Wicked Stocks has an innovative and comprehensive service that empowers near-term traders and longer-term investors to take control of their financial journey. Their offerings are crafted with the trader's needs in mind, providing them with precision, affordability, education, and comprehensive market analysis. Their goal is not just to provide data, but also to equip traders with the knowledge and tools to use it effectively. So, um, is this not an updated chart? Yes, it is an updated chart. So I'll get to this right now once I cover uh, the downside. And that is to say that if we happen to break or open today below 184.51, and that is actually shown right here. So if we happen to break 184.51, this mid band that held nicely about a week and a half ago in reach at 174.96. So if we open clearly today below 184.51, you should allow for 174.96 on an intraday basis where we can place a daily low. But I will also say that if we settle today back below this 184.51 and 186.56 region, the one to two week swing trade does shift back into the negative column, whereby we can anticipate this 161.42 formation. So closing below 184.51, expect 174.96 over the next day or two if we don't already test it today. And if we settle today below 184.51, 161.42 likely over the next week or two, where we can bottom out on a weekly basis and if settled below, would aggressively pivot this market south as we move through July and into August. 113.04 considered a one to two month objective following a settlement below 161.42. Some variation of this descending channel bottom at 113.04 should be considered a longer term possibility anyway, uh, following a testing of this 213.77 channel top. Throwing a lot of images and numbers your way, but I'm just going to clarify one more time to keep it simple. That holding above 186.56, we are in a buy signal, near term in scope, short term in scope, short term over the next three to five days, up to not only 198.30, but also that 3 8 upside Fibonacci at 200.11. And near term over the next two to three weeks, up to 213.77. This is expected over the next two to three weeks. Uh, we should see follow through to the upside. Uh, and if we don't, if we close uh, today below 184.51, then we're back on our heels, back to anticipating this 161.42 formation by the end of next week. Uh, on an intraday basis, once again, if we happen to break or open below 184.51, 174.96 in reach. So that is your day trade. Above 186.56, 198.30 up to 211 in reach. Below 184.51, 174.96 in reach today. Closing today below 184.55 over the next week or two. By the end of next week, 161.42. So you can play the short side if we close today below 184.51 down to 161.42. Until then, we are anticipating the two tens now as an objective over the next two to three weeks where we could top out through the entire third quarter. And if we close above 214.05 over the next four, few weeks, that actually would be a shift in market direction, longer term, no longer a one-year bear trend, but really a bull market, I think, through the rest of the year, 320s, 330s, then expected over the following three to five months. I'm going to leave it at that. Please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of our five-day free trial, daily triple Q, daily spy analysis, two stock picks a week. Check it out. I'll be back actually on Wednesday afternoon with Thursday's Tesla. Remember, the markets are closed on Wednesday. That's all I got. You have a great day.